Welcome back everybody, it's Carter here, and today we are ranking all 12 of these Star Wars films from my least to my most favorite. Let's not waste any more time and get right into this video. This is the fifth of six Star Wars videos in six days. Remember, this is my personal opinion, so please share your ranking down in the comments below. Some of these films I love, some of these films I genuinely hate. Let's not waste any more time and rank all 12 of these Star Wars films. Coming in 12th place, we have episode nine, The Rise of Skywalker. This film is a diss to the franchise as a whole and does a horrible job at wrapping up an almost 40 year story. This is one of two Star Wars films that genuinely makes me angry. And coming in at 11th place, we have Episode 8, The Last Jedi. This film takes everything that you like about Luke and says, hey, screw you. This film sits just a hair above The Rise of Skywalker, in my opinion. I do not like this film in any way, shape, or form. Let's move on. Tenth place, we have Star Wars The Clone Wars. It's just three episodes of the TV show smushed together. It can be entertaining from time to time if you do enjoy the TV series. And coming in at the number nine spot, we have Solo, A Star Wars Story. This should have been a character-driven space western thriller, and it just ended up being a generic sci-fi hero story with really no memorable moments, very forgettable characters, and overall didn't add anything to the Star Wars world and didn't really truly feel like a Star Wars film. Coming in eighth place, we have episode one, The Phantom Menace. This is a boring story with unlikable characters. I've said it before, but I will say it again. There are only two sequences in this film that I enjoy, and that's the Duel of the Fates and the Pod Racing, but I'm not going to sit through this entire film just to watch those sequences. Seventh place, we have The Force Awakens. This film takes no risks at all, but I will have to admit, every single time I watch it, I have some fun. Coming in at the number six spot, we have episode two, Attack of the Clones. This has horrible pacing, but it has one of the best battles in Star Wars history with the battle at the Geonosian Arena. I love that scene. Moving on. And this one might surprise a few, and I, I was honestly kind of quite surprised that it made it up this high on the list. But here we have Rogue One at number five. The characters are extremely uninteresting in this film, and I have the same complaint for this film as I do with episode one, The Phantom Menace, where I'm not going to sit through this entire film for the few scenes that I do like. But the reason that this film is so high up on this list is the fact that it is easily the best looking Star Wars film to date. I, I cannot say it enough, this film is gorgeous. And coming in fourth place, we have episode four, A New Hope. This is a great film. It revolutionized sci-fi and film forever, but I don't need to watch it a hundred times. I don't need to watch it a thousand times. I don't need to really watch it again, I don't think. And so that's why it's not higher on this list. I've just seen it so much. I loved it as a kid and that kind of ruined it for me. I don't necessarily think this film is tainted in any way in my, you know, for my viewing experience, but it'll be a while before I want to watch this film on my own. And coming down to the last three spots, we have episode three, The Empire Strikes Back. This film, the stakes are actually risen and is easily one of the most rewatchable Star Wars films, might even be the most rewatchable Star Wars film ever. Coming in at number two, we have episode three, Revenge of the Sith. This is easily the darkest Star Wars film to date, and it also has to wrap up this very mediocre trilogy, and it does so way better than it should. And coming in at the number one spot, we have episode six, Return of the Jedi. This is the most epic conclusion in sci-fi history, in my opinion, at the moment. Aliens might be sneaking up there. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't watched it in a long time, but alien videos coming later on this year. I'll say that. But this is, as, as of now, my favorite conclusion to a sci-fi film. Return of the Jedi is my favorite film in the Star Wars franchise. Out of all 12 films, this is the one film that I would take away and only watch this film for the rest of my life. If I had to never see any of the other films, I would be okay with just seeing Return of the Jedi. And that is because it's so dang awesome. It expands the universe that is Star Wars and just builds upon this lore and then also wraps up a story that one nobody was really expecting with that original trilogy and then you add on the prequel trilogy it just makes it a thousand times better so that is my ranking of all 12 star wars films thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for tomorrow's video which will be a ranking of all of the star wars tv shows ranked from my least favorite to my most favorite so 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Carter, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.